friends welcome to Meher's Fun Cuisine today here I'm not here to make something but I'm here to learn something it is Kashmiri Kehwa with my Kashmiri Bahu Madhya are you going to teach me how to make Kehwa today of course Ammi Asalaamu Alaikum everyone today I'm here to teach Ammi something that is special to Kashmir which is Kashmiri Kehwa is it that uh, brown like without uh, milk tea that we have the black tea ah uh, yes it is that but it's also the one with milk so i'm going to teach you three kinds of kebab today oh, you have three kinds of kebab yes we do wow let's start which one is the first kebab you're making right now so this kebab is a uh, dood wala kebab and this is served in very very special occasions in kashmir so for this i'm going to use three cups of whole milk so this keva you don't have it for every day no so this is only served for special occasions like if you have a groom coming to the bride's house for the first time and you want to make it special then you serve this doodwala kehwa and to make this um, here i'm only going to make two cups so for two cups i'm going to use three cups of milk because we want the milk to be thick and we want it to evaporate at least one cup should evaporate and to this i am going to add a few uh, green cardamom maybe okay. five of five them five of them in two cups okay and then I'm going to add three teaspoon of sugar okay uh, I have some almonds that I crushed and these are freshly crushed or ground almonds and I'm going to add these. How much would it be? Like 10? Um, I I believe I took about 8 to 10 almonds crushed. Okay, 2 cups. In for 2 cups of kava. Yes. And I'm going to add all of this. And now we are going to let it boil for about... Uh, until at least one cup has evaporated so we're going to let it boil for maybe an, another 15 minutes on medium flame okay. do we need any tea leaf or any kind of herbs for this kehwa? no so for any type of kehwa in kashmir we don't need any leaves so we don't have a specific tea it's mainly milk water green cardamom and sugar and almonds So like you said, there's three kinds of kehwa. So this is the milk one. What are the other two kinds like? So the next one is without milk and that's special too. So in fact, while this is boiling, why don't we get started on that? So for that, other kehwa, uh, it's generally used for weddings or say for example, someone has been engaged or there's a this birthday. One is the this is like location. a very special occasion kehwa. And the next that I'm going to teach you is like a special occasion kehwa. <laughs> what do you mean? Like? <laughs> so very special occasion is like, say for example, very special is the birth of a child. Okay. Or the groom visiting the bride's house for the first time is very special. Yes. And then the groom, whenever he visits after that, he's only special. He's yes. not very special yes. anymore. I got it. So that's when you use this kehwa, the one that I'm going to show you next. So what is the one you would generally have for Eid or Bakri? Uh, this one, the one that I'm going to make now. The special, not the very special. Not the very special. Sometimes maybe the very special, but mostly this one. The special. Okay. Yes. And uh, for this, um, we are going to make two cups again. And then again, for two cups of kava, we are only going to use two cups of water. Like how in milk we use extra milk because we want to evaporate. Evaporate, yes. But in this case, that's not the You easiest. don't want to thicken the water anymore. <laughs> yes. So to start, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a half a cup of water and then I'm going to add about uh, maybe 8 to 10 elichis. Wow, that's a lot. Yes, or maybe 12 because oh. we want a concentrated uh, elichi oh, like mix. You know how you have kira water? Yes. Oh, so that's is... like an essence or you know the concentrated form. So this I'm going to make a concentrated form of green elichi. Okay. And I'm going to let it boil until the flavor from the elaichi goes into the water and then you can even smell it. So I'm going to put something on it. This again doesn't have any herbs except for the elaichi like you said. Uh, not really except that it has zafran which is saffron. Okay. But yeah I heard there was some kind of kehwa that is good for health benefit. So which one of these? 
Oh, actually, uh, none of these, but there's a third type of kehwa that I will teach you. Uh, it's very good for winter, especially. It's good, good for cold, sinus, if you have cough, if you have any, you know, throat irritation. It also keeps you warm be because it uses a lot of spices, which are good. Oh, that's and the kehwa you use for winter. That's the kehwa we mainly drink in winter at night before we go to bed. Oh, everything. And uh, people also drink it during summer sometimes, but mainly people dr drink it during winter. So if you have to say, I want to have kehwa, like just you say, so you have to specify which kehwa you want to have? Uh, so if you, again, so if, if my father says, Madhya, I want to have kehwa, then I'll make him the one with the spices, which is the third kehwa that I'm going to show you. Okay. But if my father has, say for example, his friends coming over and he's like, Madhya, can you make kehwa for mm -hmm. everyone? Mm -hmm. Then I'll make maybe this one or maybe the milk one, depending on what the occasion is. Oh, that's interesting. You guys are really yeah. interesting. <laughs> and you know what, Ami? We actually serve kehwa in this. This what? is a Kashmiri samawar. What is it called? Samawar. Okay, so you... And when we open it, it has an opening here and we put coal in it. Okay. Like hot coal. And then we put tea around it so the tea stays oh, warm. Oh, oh. So even kehwa is made in this. So you pour the tea here. Any any kehwa. This is for any kehwa. Kehwa, the, the Kashmiri chai that you have here. Oh. The pink color chai. And you put charcoal in here. We put hot charcoal in there. So it... So I want to show this to my viewers. So this is the Kashmiri Samawar. Yes. Samawar. So these people, they keep the check kehwa warm by putting in a, a hot charcoal, like burning one, right? Yes. And they put the tea around. So it keeps, how long does it keep it warm? Hours and hours. I mean, in weddings, people make this. Oh, it's, they have a big... It's, it's like this size. This is like just a miniature version, but they have like... Half of my size, actually. Oh, you do, you need so there's two people. people. There are oh, two God. people who help serve tea in weddings. Oh. And that's how they serve tea. This is the traditional way of serving tea. That's and over here, actually, I see that the milk has evaporated quite a lot. Okay. And it's I just can't wait to have left. it. I know. I'm excited. I'm making it after such a long time myself. Uh, anyway, so yes, this is ready to go. Uh, what I'm going to do now is... I'm going to take these cups, which is our traditional again, and I'm going to put some cut almonds, uh, so I've cut them like this, and I'm going to put some at the bottom of the in cup. In each of the cups. Okay. Each cup, yes. And you had put some crushed one in the milk as well. I put the crushed almond so that the flavor yes. can, you know, get into the milk. But these ones are crushed and they sit at the bottom of the milk. So when your kehwa is done, then you have a nice surprise waiting for you at the end. <laughs> wow, that's nice. Okay, viewers, why Medea is pouring the, uh, the kehwa in the special teacups. Can you please like, subscribe, share? So while Madiha is pouring her very special, very special kehwa, uh, please go subscribe, like, share, hit the bell. So uh, we can always check the sugar because some people like more sugar, some don't. Uh, I like medium sugar. So I've put three. Mm. When you're boiling, you put three. I put three teaspoons. Mm. Uh, to top it up, some people put some zafran, strands of zafran. That's and optional? That's optional for this kehwa. But it definitely looks nice with that. Oh, I love zafran. It it smells so good and it looks so rich. So here you go, Ami. Why don't you give it a try? This is how you serve? Uh, sometimes, yes. Sometimes you serve in other cups, but... Mm. Mm. Perfect. You don't even need any more sugar. It's just, it's just so perfect, good, right? Yeah. And I love the zafran. Do you get the flavor of yes, the zafran? Yes, zafran, almonds, everything. So, so now I'm going to sorry to interrupt you. This kebab is really very special. Oh, thank you, Ami. <laughs> so now we're going to start the second kebab, which is the special kebab. So again, I'm going to make two cups of kebab, and I'm going to use two cups of water. The exact amount for this. Two cups. And in two cups of water, I'm going to add, again, 
three for me three teaspoons work but of course sugar again depends on how sweet you want the kava to be so three teaspoons of sugar and this is ready to go so what I'm going to do instead of putting the elaichi in this kava for boiling I am just going to put the water for this the, that means the flavor of the elaichi the flavor of the elaichi yes that's right so I'm going to add this And you know, me, we always used to save this water if if we had to serve kava for two or three days continuously. Mm -hmm. Say, for example, in, at weddings, you know how you have guests come Coming to your all place the time even yes. before the wedding. Mm -hmm. So we used to save this water, and every time we had to make kava, it used to be so easy because this water was ready. Oh, so you put mix more water in that? So what we used to do is we used to boil water for kava and add the elaichi, the water with the elaichi. We just used to add that water to the boiling kava and that's it. You didn't have to like, mm -hmm. you, you know, yes, you didn't have to boil every day the elaichi because the mixture was already there. So again, for this, I am going to add crushed almonds. Pretty much the same process, just a few differences here and there. This kefa is also like I'm sweating. <laughs> Are you feeling hot? That's right. Maybe it's not the kefa, maybe it's your shawl. <laughs> because our Kashmiri shawls are warm too. So here I'm going to, for this kefa, I'm going to add some strands of zafran to boiling water. Mm -hmm. I don't have to boil it, I've just boiled this water and I'm going to add a few strands of zafran so that uh, the color comes out. Can you see that color already, Ami? Yes, yes. Oh, I love the smell of saffron. So we are going to let it sit for two minutes until the water here boils. Uh, can you see the white thing that's coming what up on me? That? That's because I put crushed almonds and you can always remove it okay. because you don't want your kava to look white. So mm. you can always just take it out. So I'm just going to take this out. Oh, you also put it this uh, in the milk, but because the milk is white, it didn't show up, right? Yes, exactly. So yes. you don't need to do that for milk. No, no. Yes, that's but what I'm wondering. What for the water, white yes, you need to just take it out. And I've already added uh, that elaichi flavored water. Yes. Can you smell that? Yes. And look at this, Ami. Yes. Color looks But these so zafrans, I used it for other foods also. These are just amazing. I know. They're the, they're from Kashmir. The smell and uh, the color texture is so good. You know, this actually, this zafran my father gave me. And one of his friends, he grows this zafran. He he has, he has his own farm. farm. Oh, okay. And that's why it's, it's no, I so I was pretty. wondering, even I buy it from here, the Spanish one. But it doesn't give that color. I have to put a little bit of food coloring for to give the whatever that palau or anything I'm making. But this one, just the zafran is enough. Yes, it's incredible. It's so nice to to learn about other culture and other states. Like yeah, like I learned about so many things about Bihari, and I make so much Bihari food now. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to add this zafran water to my kehwa and I'm going to let it just boil. For how long? Maybe just another like one boil or? Uh, no, I would say that. maybe five minutes on medium heat so it boils well and you know all the Get flavors the flavor blend it. together really well. And then again, sugar depends on how much you prefer. If you like a little more sweet, then you can add more. It's nice. Would you teach us more uh, Kashmiri cuisines? Like, of course, so I mean, we can share with our viewers as well. Sure. I mean, if someone wants to learn, or if you want to learn, definitely. So, viewers, if you want to learn Kashmiri dishes, cuisine, with Madiha, you teach me why you learn too. So, please give me comments that you want to learn more Kashmiri dishes. And I'll be happy to teach you too. Okay, we really see how, how much this thing is coming up now, the white thing. It's like the foam. And the color is changing the Yes. So I'm going to take the white thing off. 
Spoon for the zaffron. Make sure I'm not throwing the zaffron. <laughs> So the brown kehwa that you were talking about, that's the third type of kehwa that I'm going to show you. This one, this special kehwa has this color mainly. It, it's not the brown color. There'll be no milk added. It's this. like this oh, color. That's it? Yes. So that's about it. I'm going to take this out in... So basically the flavor is for the zafran and the lychee. You can see it's a herbal kind of tea. Yes, exactly. It's like a herbal tea. So this kehwa is also kind of a herbal tea. Like yes. with rich herbal tea, we would call not an ordinary man. Like because by um, almond badam is common in Kashmir, yes. but other parts of the world it's really expensive. Right. So is zafran. I mean, so is zafran exactly. Yes. Just because it's so easily for common available. man, it's not very easy. But uh, otherwise, it's it's like a medicine. It is. It's it has so many medicinal values too. I mean, I zafran have. exactly. There are so many benefits to that as well. So I'm, I think I'm Elijah ready to take it off and look at this color. Oh I my love God, this color. So... It looks so festive, right? I can, I can feel the weddings. You know, when there used to be weddings in Kashmir and this used to be served. Where well, you could get the aroma from. Oh distance, yes, right? it reminds me of weddings in Kashmir. So before I dish this out into the cups, I forgot. So here too, we are going to add some almonds at the bottom of the cup. For a nice surprise at the end. That's our special kehwa. Again, it's optional if you want to add. It looks like a hot lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> it is. There you go, me. Wow. I love the smell. So delicious. Good, right? Very good. Look at the color, guys. Yeah, the color it's just is just natural. It's so beautiful. I just like to wash this cup like this. You know? <laughs> no, really, like no, it's no food coloring. It's just everything is natural. It looks so beautiful. Now you are making the not very special camera. <laughs> now I'm making. <laughs> now I'm making the everyday camera. Okay. So this is something that we generally drink in winters. Again, so I'm going to make two cups. So I'm going to use two cups of water. But these two really taste amazing. Yeah, wait until you taste this one. This tastes good and it has so many health benefits. So what am I going to do after this kava? I'm going to judge between the three kavas. Oh, that would be great. Yes, <laughs> maybe you can tell me which one you like the most. For this, uh, there's two cups of water. I'm going to add a small cinnamon stick. I'm going to add a few elaichi, maybe three to four. I'm going to add one long this is called long ami right yes okay i'm gonna add this and maybe a few black peppers it's and a masala chai then <laughs> yes it is a masala chai but there is no tea leaves okay it's but just it's it's only uh spices boiled in water so i'm gonna let this boil for about 10 minutes on medium heat and, and then, then you put the zafran again in this one as well? Uh, no, so this one we don't put zafran. Uh, we only put, sometimes people put sugar, people who like sugar put sugar in it. Otherwise, but for health reasons, uh, I'm going to put some honey. I mean, do you see the color for this kehwa? This is the brown kehwa that you were talking about. Okay. So this is done. What I generally do is I put a half a teaspoon or one teaspoon of honey before I serve this kava and so I'm not going to serve the masalas obviously just the clear liquid so but that's amazing you have white kava you have your lemon kava yellow kava and, uh, and this is the pink one is it pink I feel like it's brown something between that not very special kava is most beneficial for you <laughs> yes so okay now you have to tell me which one did you like the most i like the milk one. Oh yeah it was amazing actually the very, i like that I, you are very special people very <laughs> special 
Thank you for having me, Ammi. I really no, I loved it too. Please like, subscribe, and tell me how you like my video with my Babu Madiha, my daughter-in-law. Thank you for watching.